So what are seizures? Seizures are abnormal brain activity or electrical activity of the brain causing alteration in the level of consciousness or abnormal movements. There are different types of seizures. Seizures can be convulsive or can be non-convulsive. Convulsive comes from the term convulsion, which, is, which means that the child would be shaking or having abnormal movement. Whereas there is another type of seizure, which is non-convulsive. Non-convulsive seizures can be in the form simply of just staring or cessation of behavioral activity. So if there's any child having alteration of consciousness or abnormal movements or any movement that the parents could not explain, they should see a pediatric neurologist because sometimes it can be a form of atypical non-convulsive seizures. So what do we do when we see this child? First thing we want to do is we want to do an EEG. And as you see behind me, this is the EEG machine. What we do is we record the electrical activity of the brain, try to figure out is there any abnormal brain activity explaining these abnormal movements or abnormal behavior. If the EEG is normal, then most probably these movements are behavioral or stereotypical movements. If the EEG is abnormal, then we're talking about seizures. If this becomes recurrent on and on and on, then repetitive seizure would lead to something what we call epilepsy. If your child has a convulsive seizure, then what we need to do is, first of all, we need to start timing what time it started, because if the seizure lasts more than five minutes, then you should take them to the emergency department as soon as possible. Meanwhile, the child should be put on the ground, nothing around them, and on their side, whether right or left, it doesn't matter. Just simply put them on their side until the seizure stops. And as we said, if the seizure doesn't stop after five minutes, then we should take them to the nearest emergency department.